Hello and welcome to the tour for the eight star home, 8.2 stars in fact, um, up at Woodford in Adelaide. Um, so this is our next climate ready house. Um, it has a whole lot of features included in it and it is on the market at the moment. So I hope you enjoy this uh, virtual tour of the house. Um, the videos from now on will be VR enabled. Um, so that as I'm walking through the house, you can turn your phone. Uh, what's particularly important about this house is the um, automation, the HRV system and a few other attributes that are inside the house. Um, the home automation just gives us that next level of control, uh, or the owner, the next level of control in terms of um, controlling their energy consumption and seeing how much energy is being stored by the um, th through the use of the solar panels into the battery. Um, and then also the HRV system is a way that we can um, actually um, bring fresh air into the building if the building is closed up um, and particularly in winter when the inside of the house is warming up the the air very naturally um, through the passive design and use of um, high level windows and so forth the HRV system can take out any um, stale air or you know all the CO2 that's in the building um, and then pump, pump in fresh air um, and as that process is happening it actually um, essentially mixes the heat from the air that's being extracted with the air that's coming in. So you're not actually using um, any other forms of heating in the house to actually um, bring that temperature up, which is fantastic. So if you do want more information, um, you can visit the 8 Star Home website um, and there'll be a lot more information there. Thank you. Hi, we're outside the 8.2 um, Star House at Woodford. This house is currently on the market, but we wanted to take you through a little virtual reality tour, a bit of a sneak peek at the house before it goes on the market. Um, it is still under construction, uh, but very close to completion, so you should get a, a rough idea of how it's going to look um, and the beautiful spaces that it has inside, so it's very unique. Um, so starting off with, um, it is a, a, an airtight um, strategy on this house to um, keep the performance of the building under control. Um, we've got an airtight front door as well, so it's an aluminium thermally broken front door. Um, inside when you're coming into this house there's going to be some switches inside that um, are supplied by ABB. Um, they basically link up to a home automation system that allows the occupant to um, control the building from either their phone or the pad that's on the wall um, and you'll notice um, that through this building once it's finished there will be little um, the light switches and so forth that are actually connected to that um, same with the lighting so the the advantage of that is that you can actually power down the building um, you can find out how efficient it's performing how much um, storage there is in the battery currently um, is supplied by your solar panels on the roof um, how that could be used for your electric vehicle charger and so forth so um, it's quite a unique system um, so this is the master bedroom um, so using the virtual reality just rotate around the space and, and have a good look um, I'll move into the robe in just a second but this is quite a large bedroom as we've got a very large ensuite as well um, beautiful articulated large lofty ceilings um, raped ceiling as well so it's got a lot of volume in it um, as does part of the rest of the house. Um, so the idea with this house, um, because it was essentially having to use a lot of um, southern aspects because of the orientation on the block and the fact that the north side of the house is actually a boundary wall, um, what we had to do was really open up these volumes with daylighting and a lot of windows to actually um, target some of the thermal mass to heat the building up and it's worked a treat. So it's 8.2 stars. Uh, very low energy consumption, so we're driving down that um, demand on the grid. So coming into the room here, which is almost complete, you can see that we're going to have the same finish all the way around. 
There's a beautiful little space because it's got a little um, nook window on the western face. Um, it should be lovely in winter to sit there and read a book. Um, also, it's, it's essentially meant to be like a concealed robe. So uh, one thing that I don't like so much in a lot of house designs is that robes tend to be like this added little room on the house, which is adding unconditioned space. Um, so what we've done is actually emphasise the beautiful, elegant detailing that um, Sam has done on the cabinetry and actually allow this little seated area much more functional, much more beautiful. Um, it's also got a lot of daylighting in here from the south as well. So there's a lot of cross lighting in this area, uh, which means that it's quite a bright space, although it's on the south. So again, rotate around the room and have a look. Um, the lighting that's going to go in here, we don't have it installed yet, but um, Beacon Commercial Lighting has supplied the lighting in for in here. It's LED, so it's low um, energy consumption, uh, but still nice and bright and light. This, um, this ensuite, um, I'm slightly in love with, it's actually pretty large, which is good. Um, nice large window, which you can rotate around and have a look. There you go. So there's a window there. Uh, with the obscured glazing. Um, the tiles that we've got in here and throughout the rest of um, the house where there are tiles is actually from Beaumont Tiles. They're actually a um, Australian tile which is a little bit hard to find on the market at quite a reasonable cost. Um, these ones are quite reasonable. Um, we've got a textured finish in areas where people might slip and just the standard more smooth finish in the remainder of the house where um, there's a high, high level of traffic. So I'm just standing in the hallway here, so if you tilt your camera upwards, let's go this way, um, you can actually see that we've got some really high level windows and the advantage of that is actually that we can get the higher northern light, which is the best light, onto this thermal mass brick wall that you see beside me right now, um, so that we can actually get the building performing passively. Now the importance of that is that um, what we want to do is really insulate the envelope of the building and ensure that we've got the right glazing in there so that we're not relying on the grid to power the home and um, pump more cost in there for the owner. Um, so the investment that the owner makes in this house means that in the long run the building's going to perform better. Um, they're not going to have to replace things as often because the, um, the effectiveness of this house is in the material itself, not in the additions. Um, you can also see um, these tiny little holes, they're actually going to have a little white cover on, um, but that's actually the HRV system. And um, the advantage of the HRV system is essentially if you can imagine that the house is performing passively already, you're getting a lot of thermal gain, the building is nice and warm in winter particularly. Um, what it'll actually do is recover heat. So HRV stands for heat recovery ventilation or energy recovery. Um, and so what it does is it takes out the, the stale air from inside of the house, the CO2 filled air from people doing things inside, um, takes it out of the house, but as it's taking it out, um, it's bringing in fresh air. And those two mix and means that you're not actually losing the heat that you've created on the inside of the house by bringing in cold air from the outside. Um, so it's a very tried and tested method. Improves the indoor air quality on the house also. Um, and another thing to in, um, include in that discussion about indoor air quality is also um, to do with the plasterboard. So in this house, um, same as the Tenstein house, Canaf has supplied um, carbon neutral plasterboard, uh, low VOC, so we're not getting the off-gassing off of that, uh, which means the indoor environment is a lot cleaner to breathe. Okay, now you will notice that we're in the, the kitchen. Um, it is still a construction site, so we've got some scaffolding here. Um, however, you'll notice that the kitchen is behind me um, and there's some real um, light um, fracturing happening through this space. As you go up the stairs to the lounge room, um, you actually pass a courtyard which is um, specifically designed in shape to actually maximise the amount of north northeastern light, um, but occlude some of that harsh western light, especially in summer. Um, we also have pantry just in here, which is quite large. Let's just poke you in, inside of there for a second. Uh, again, construction site, so the cabinetry is going in. Um, essentially, this house was specifically designed to have this breeze path um, from east to west, but also bring in the south air. Um, so we've got very um, openable 
parts of the building, like say uh, the laundry, which can bring the air through, but without having that ugly sort of line of sight, we've got the timber battens in front of it just here. Um, the other very cool feature, which I love, the second bedroom. Um, so if you actually look upwards, there's this beautiful skylight above us, uh, which nice, um, soft southern lighting. So it's not going to get too hot because it's actually on a southern facing roof. Um, we've got nice built-in wardrobes plus an additional lighting and ventilation on the side so that you can actually get that air doing this coming through the space. Um, again, reverse brick veneer so that it's performing a lot better. Uh, we've got a cupboard here, concealed cupboard. Um, inside there actually, if you can see inside. Nope, they've covered it up. So there's actually a manifold for the um, hydronic heating. So the floors in this house are actually going to be heated with hydronic heating supplied by Stiebel. Um, Adelaide Dew Exchange have actually installed that product into the house um, as well as the HRV system. Um, but that goes throughout the whole house. Um, so again, in here you can see the, the bell tiles but in the textured finish, uh, which are going to be beautiful. Um, so this is the, the laundry. Um, very... Um, great sort of breeze path going through the building but again um, turning around to behind you um, looking where the timber slats are going to come through there it's going to have that visual break so that you can't actually really see it from the kitchen and so forth and in here is the bathroom so it's been tiled in here we have the um, the bath going in currently the tiling is um, underway um, beautiful big window again with south ventilation so you can actually get the ventilation going through the building. Um, this here is actually earth wall insulation which is in the walls, this is all the excess, um, so, but it's a very healthy insulation and it doesn't have a lot of the toxins in that a lot of the others do so you can be rest assured inside of these walls that it's very healthy as well. Uh, we have some very large doors here which means that from the kitchen uh, this space could actually be opened up quite dramatically. Um, the Ocnolux doors here are thermally broken aluminium double glazed um, and also some of them do this tilt thing as you can see up the top there. On the roof we have the Tindo solar panels um, that are connected down to the AVB batteries and inverter. Also um, there's a lot of privacy in different parts of the house despite it being such a small dense scale. Um, this area here I, I love, what we're going to do is actually have a vine that actually comes up along the top. So um, again what we're trying to do is a lot of vertical green spaces. We've got the lounge area here. Um, so once again if you look around using your virtual reality you can see that we've got the courtyard out here which has that line aside to the kitchen. Um, it's a very, very sort of entertaining and social space um, but we also have a lot of privacy being that this is a raised lounge room. Um, and it has that sense of disconnect should you need that disconnect. Um, so it's quite a beautiful thing. Nice lofty ceilings as well. So we've got a rope ceiling through here. So instead of having a drop ceiling and having um, ceiling insulation and roof insulation, quite often what we do to um, help the performance of the building is actually have a raked ceiling, but have the, or a raked roof, but have the roof thicker. Uh, with the air cavities going through it um, and that way we can actually get the inside volume of that air to actually work a little bit better. And through, it's got that sense of privacy and um, quietness that you would expect in a much larger house. Um, again we've got some rake ceilings here as well to help the height and make it look bigger and connection to our vertical gardens that we're going to have on the outside of the building. Okay, the outside isn't finished yet but I'm just going to take you for a quick look. Um, so we've got, again, this door that tilts but then also pulls back and slides from the flux. Yeah. Um, so outside we're going to have a fence that um, creates the separation between the 10 star and the 8 star. Um, the garden beds are um, essentially connected. But outside here we've got an um, open fixed structure over the top that occludes the summer light uh, but allows the winter light coming through. Around the corner here beautiful stairs. <laughs> um, we have a, the rainwater system, you can see that it's quite big. Uh, so we've got a lot of storage in there, plus the heat pump as well from Stiebel. Stiebel. Down the end there is where we have our batteries and um, inverter and so forth. Um, and then the electric vehicle charger is actually in the garage. <laughs>